What's going on YouTube? Keith Moore Jr. here. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you find this video helpful, hit that like button and please share with others. So I just recently moved to Florida about a week ago and I had to find a new gym home because my gym back in Chicago is only a local gym and they do not have locations out here in Florida. So today I will be sharing with you all five tips that I find helpful when searching for a new gym home. The first tip, location. I think it's very important that your gym is close to where you live because for myself personally, I like to work out in the mornings before I go to work. And if the gym is less than 15 minutes away from my home, then it's easier for me to, let's say if I'm moving slow in the morning or if I oversleep or something like that, I still you know, have no excuse to miss out on the gym because the gym is less than 15 minutes away from my home. I can still get there at a you know, fairly fast time, you know, drive carefully, drive safe. But if the gym is, let's say, 30 minutes away from my home, if I oversleep or something like that, then I don't have that luxury of just saying, okay, I overslept by 20 minutes, that's fine. I'm still gonna make it to the gym in the morning because for myself and a lot of other people, that can make you late to work. You know, and then it's no telling how bad traffic may be to or from the gym, depending on what time you work out. So in order to, you know, eliminate that risk of having an excuse on why, you, you know, time being a reason why you can't make it to the gym, I like having a gym close to where I stay. So the gym that I just signed up for is about 10 to 12 minutes away from where I live right now. So no matter how slow I move in the morning or if I oversleep or something, I should still be able to make it to the gym because it's close to where I live. Tip number two, reviews. When I say reviews, I mean if you Google the particular gym and you select the reviews, you can see what people are saying about the gym. And not only that, you can see if management is replying to what people are saying about the gym. I think it's very important whether the reviews be good or bad, it's very important that the management is responding to these reviews because that shows that they care. And if management's not responding to the reviews, I don't care if they have you know, all the stars and all great reviews, then you know, I will not be interested in that gym personally because, you know, being realistic, it could be people that management is telling to leave these good reviews. So if they're, you know, not being responsive, then to me, that's a red flag. And, you know, some people might ask, you know, how many reviews should I be looking for? It depends because, for example, a gym like an LA Fitness is probably going to have a lot more reviews than a smaller gym because LA Fitness has more members. So I like to see, you know, a large person, I look at it from a percentage standpoint versus, you know, a overall number of reviews. I like to see at least about, you know, 80% of the reviews being positive along with management responding to as many reviews as possible. So that's tip number two. Tip number three, this is a personal preference for me, crowd. I think it is very important for a gym not to have a large crowd. And I will tell you all why. Because I do not like waiting for equipment. So if I'm trying to, you know, get my workout in or if I'm trying to, you know, some days I may be trying to drop set, super set, things like that. And that's very difficult to do in crowded gyms. And for those of you all who may be part of a larger chain, you all know that when that new year rolls around, for you know the first three or four months of the year, no matter what time you go to the gym, unless it's like four in the morning, if it's a 24 hour gym, that gym is going to have a lot of people in there. So the reason I led off with saying a personal preference for me 
is because some people like to be in gyms with larger crowds because they like, you know, being able to talk to people, meet new people and things like that. For me, the gym's not, not for that. The gym is to get in there, get your work done and get out. And I also find, uh, find it easier to have a lot of distractions in larger gyms. So uh, speaking from personal experiences, Typically, when I go to the gyms, I always, you know, meet people because I tend to go at the same time all the time, which is in the mornings before work. And I'm not saying this is a, a bad thing, but when I went to, you know, larger gyms and I met a lot more people, it would be a lot harder for me to complete my workouts in the time that I wanted to because... You know, I'll be working out and although I may have my headphones in, music blasting, you know, people are always trying to talk and hold conversations. And I, you know, I had to master, you know, cutting them off so I can continue to work out. So I will entertain those conversations. So I just try to avoid that altogether and join gyms that do not have a large crowd. So tip number four, how clean is the gym? This is very important and it did not become important to me until I got older because I've been a member of gyms that were not the cleanest place. Uh, paper towels laying around, bathrooms dirty, um, floors wet from you know the person not doing a good job mopping. Uh, the floor may stink because the mop water wasn't clean that they used. So I think it's very, very important that the gym be clean and taken care of because, you know, you don't want to get down on a bench, get ready to lift, and then it's just a bunch of sweat, you know, laying on the bench and things like that. You know, that's very <laughs> disgusting to me. So I think it's, you know, it's very important. You can tell from the reviews how clean the gym is because that's usually one of the first things someone will say whether the gym is clean or dirty. And then you should always go take a tour yourself of the gym, you know, to see for yourself. And chances are, especially if you go during, you know, a busy time period, as long as it's not the first thing in the morning, if you go during a busy time period, you will be able to tell, you know, if the gym is clean or dirty. So that's tip number four. And then my last tip, tip number five, is amenities. So what is the gym offering? Is it offering everything you're looking for? Basketball, swimming, yoga, uh, rock climbing, etc. Whatever you're looking for. For me, the gym I just signed up for, I'm doing, you know, the weights, the gym section, and also yoga classes, which I'll do a separate video on to tell you all why I'm going to be incorporating yoga back into my routine. But I think this is very important because some people go to join a gym and let's say, for example, all I want to do is lift weights, but I'm joining a gym that offers everything, but the membership is let's say $65 per month. It's probably not the best idea to, you know, be paying that much, that much a month for a lot of stuff that I'm not going to use. Now, some people are lucky enough to where their jobs may pay for their membership, so they're not worried about that. But, you know, that is something to think of. And some people, for example, you may have kids, so you want to, go to a gym that has a daycare where they can watch your kids while you work out. So that's something to think about. And uh, also with the amenities, some gyms offer, you know, you know, different, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Memberships, offer different memberships based on what you're looking for. So if you're just looking to work out, they may say, okay, this is how much the membership is for you to have access you know, just to our free weight and cardio area. But if you want to, let's say, add a cycling class, 
they may add on an extra fee. You know, it may not be all just one inclusive thing. So that's important to ask as well. So those are the five tips that I like to use when looking for a new gym. I hope that you all found this helpful. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.